Hey guys, um, okay, day two, day two, like Daytona. Um, looks like I need more power. And how many megawatts? Megawatts I need 20. How much is coal? <clears throat> you want to get over onto coal whenever you, whenever you can. But you can't get over there until you have 75 megawatts of required power from your stupid city or else it would be pretty inefficient. Um, do, 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 Whenever you want to put a new road in a non-typical place, you want to hold down. Um, so let's see. Shift forces your road to be perpendicular to the road it's connected to, like a right angle. Or, if you're connecting it to nothing, like, if you see I do this, I can move the road anywhere I want, but if I hold shift, I can only move in 45 degree angles, right? Um, alt forces the guide bars to go away, or you can just uncheck guides. So a guide bar, when you when you go over a road, it gives you little guide bars, um, whatever. Anyway, so I usually hold alt and shift just as a matter of course, and then I don't have to think about it. So if you're pl placing a road that you don't want to be connected to the rest of the universe, just hold alt and shift, man. Um, <clears throat> should be good for a while. Fight and fire, don't care, don't care about this, crimes are good, bulldozery things. Again, these people who live near the dump and the, um, and the, and the jails, probably gonna keep moving out, but I don't care. So it's not actually bad. So, <coughs> we talked about earlier how m uh, happiness is money, and the goal of your city uh, if you're just trying to raise tax money off of people, is to just get their happiness really high so you can steal, steal their money, right? So, for example, 36, these guys are all maxed out on happiness, uh, but their max money is 36, and they can't ever seem to get up to 36, so they're not increasing in density yet. Uh, but they're on their way, as long as they stay at 36 happiness, that's good. But this guy lost happiness due to something. And if we look over here, near the dump, where everyone's kind of pissed off that they have to live next to the dump, Every day they're going to lose a little bit of happiness. Maybe, I don't know when, maybe at midnight or something. Um, but then they're going to buy more happiness by shopping. So it's kind of okay. So a lot of these houses do have 36 happiness. And these ones actually are upgrading in density, so that's good. Uh, anyway, living near a dump. It's just kind of like costing you a dollar every day, so it's no big deal totally fine. You same with same with uh, industrial. You're actually better off zoning a bunch of residential across the street from polluting industrial and having the residents get sick and die. Um, just because then they walk to work, man. Uh, and so there is a, a cost to living across the street from something you don't want to live across the street from, but that cost is very low relative to the cost of having your entire city shut down due to, due to too much traffic. So, um... <clears throat> The virtue of not having to live next to something that sucks is it earns you a little tiny bit of money each day, right? Because you don't lose that happiness. And you can pay for that uh, in traffic. And traffic is free at first. So why not just put everyone far away from everything they don't want to be near? But then as traffic increases, the only way to decrease it um, without rezoning anything is with public transportation, which costs money. So you have to weigh the cost of building your, your stuff far away from where they work against the cost of the public transit it takes to get them there. Um, and you'll find that in general it's not worth it. Public transit uh, tends in, tends to cost, if just for your own personal citizens, it tends to cost too much to justify the cost because, uh, like I said, you can do your whole city on a single wealth type. Um, now, if you wanted medium, low, and high wealth people, all of which would go to the same building, then you obviously can't have those three types of housing all within walking distance of that building, and then public transit is kind of a requirement. Um, <clears throat> and that just goes to show how much more complicated the game becomes when you do that. Uh, but like I said before, because this game doesn't require that, I just don't do it. Unless that's the specific goal of a city. I have made a, a city where I tried to get all of, like if you click this um, over here it says how many of each job type do you have and how many people so 
I think that um, a challenge, a good challenge that you should try, that I have tried in the past, is try to make it so that this number equals this number, and this e number equals this number, and so on and so forth, all the way across the board. Um, and that makes it a lot more challenging because you have to get the rich people to work, and you have to get the poor people to work, and all that stuff. Um, but f in this city, we're, we're working on oil derricks. We're not really working on that. Um, Pretty soon, I'm going to have to get a public services thing so that I can get a sewage plant and a, and a water plant both together. Um, when you place a water plant, it eats away at the permanent water supply, and that water supply is never replenished because, similar to the global market, that's just a feature that's turned off. Um, so, long term, the only way to have a city of any type is to place a sewage um, treatment plant next to a water pump. So I will be doing that at, at some point. We're out of business because we're on fire. So you notice, uh, I just opened this, and I got a lot of unemployed people. And unemployment, unemployment is similar to crime in that you want to fight it early, because if you have a 1,800 unemployment, a household is going to create a bum, and then it's going to regenerate. It's going to regrow its limb, and then it's going to create another bum, and then it's going to regrow its limb, and it's going to create another bum. So you can get these cities with bajillions of bums. Um, so you never really want to have unemployment. And when I was first zoning, um, <clears throat> like this, I said, this is a, a 3 to 2 ratio, which is like 6 to 4, which is fine when everything gets to max density. But what's happening here is that the commercial buildings upgrade in density at a different rate than the, than the residential buildings. You do theoretically need to have factories in order for commercial buildings all to reach max density, or tourists. So you can use one or the other, factories or tourists. Or, and the third thing, is you can just say, okay, it's impossible to get my factories to go up in density, I'll just have a bunch, I mean, not my factories, my um, commercial zones to go up in density, I'll just have a bunch more low-density commercial, and that works too. So, um, I'm trying to decide whether I should zone more commercial. Yeah, I, I need more commercial zones. <clears throat> or more industrial. If I get more industrial, it'll reduce my unemployment, my population will grow up, my demand for goods will go up, and therefore the number of shoppers that hit these commercial zones will go up, and then they'll uh, increase in density, creating more goods, and satisfying that goods goods need, and uh, so that'll all work out. So that's good. Uh, I really wanted to get into education this, this episode. <coughs> But first, I want to get this jobs jobs thing worked out. Our workers are dying. Suck it up. Suck it up, workers. So, factories. Let's get our factories into increase in density, right? Factories, you open the factory thing and you say, okay. <coughs> it's exactly the same as houses. Each day, <coughs> a house earns money, turns money into happiness. Happiness never goes down. Well, with a factory, each day... A factory earns freight, and it tr turns that freight into profit, and the profit gets taxed. Um, so it's very similar to the way households work. Uh, this guy has enough. He should be increasing density pretty soon. Let's check the density. Yeah, he's he's pretty pretty close. But this guy is having problems. Um. It could be that he just... Well, he's on fire. That that does that does cause problems. Being on fire makes it harder to increase your density. But he seems to take longer to ship his freight than everyone else. He's furthest away, obviously. So when these guys do ship freight, they have to go to the nearest commercial zone. That's these three. So you just saw that guy run in there. Then this guy went over here. These are yellow cars. There goes another yellow guy. He's shipping his freight. Now, shipping freight doesn't help the commercial zones. It just helps the factories. Think of it as a... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, think of it as, like, this is a factory that makes foodish enterprises. So it makes little dolls called foodish dolls. And this is a store. Uh, proofreading. No, this isn't a store. Anyway. Somewhere in here, there's a store. 
that sells merchandise, right? So this is like Toys R Us, and it has 55 different types of dolls. And this factory is making one type of doll, and it's making bazillions of them. So it can't bring all of its dolls to this store and have this store get all of the dolls that it's going to sell from this factory. Most of the stuff that your commercial zones sell is coming from the global market. They're getting it from FedEx. They're getting it from outside of the city. Um, but factories can ship some stuff locally just to, uh, you know, make things, make their lives easier. Like, why sell things on the global market when you can just sell them to the guy next door? It's It takes less time to ship it there, it's easier. So they'll tend to ship things to commercial if you let them. Um, but once factories grow beyond a certain rate, their factory shipments tend not to be able to be satisfied by by local commercial stuff. Also, the having the factories want to send vehicles to the commercial zones creates traffic along this route, which right now is fine because, as you can see, everyone in our city is walking everywhere. But once we get in, once we plop the oil derricks over here, we're going to have some traffic going along this route, and we don't want our factories also using the same route. So what you can do is create a, uh, a trade depot over here that will accept these freight shipments and sell them on the global, global market. So the faster a factory can ship its freight and get its worker back to back home to make more freight, uh, the, the quicker it's going to increase in density, which is why, as you can see, our highest density factories should be closest to our commercial zones. Like, this guy and this guy are very close to the commercial zone. And it might seem like this guy is closer to the commercial zone than this guy, but he's not, because this is an avenue. So when he comes out of this, he's got to go this way. So this guy's actually closer. He's coming out and going this way and turning around and then going over. Um, also, it's possible there's not enough room for him to increase in density. You need two two factories next to each other to become a bigger factory. He also doesn't have anyone working there. Um, so these guys are hopefully going to increase in density next. Our job situ situation still... Let's, let's plop our oil. Let's see if that takes care of it. We need more people to work. Um, I'm a little bit worried. Alright, let's pause. I'm a little bit worried that the, the workers at this oil derrick are going to be causing traffic along the street. That's why I made it an avenue in the first place. But they're also going to be creating traffic along these side streets and along these main streets and everything. So, I'm a little bit worried about what plopping oil... Derek's is going to do to my traffic. Um, we're already got a tiny bit of traffic going on right here. Uh, out of money. Ah. Remember, my tax rate's at 12%, so I'm expecting some of this to happen. Um, each day, they, they pay taxes, and if they can't pay taxes, they pay it out of happiness, and if both money and happiness get to zero, then they go out of business. Anyway, um, why are these guys on the street? Let's figure it out. Click on one of them. Say, hey, what's going on? He left work at a factory and he's driving home. So these guys... Yeah, they left the factory and they're driving home. So these guys uh, drove up here to work at these factories and drove back. And that's okay. Uh, but you you got to recognize that we've got a lot of jobs up in the north side of our city. Well, right now, we've got a lot of factories and pretty soon we're going to have a lot of oil jobs. So people are going to want to be driving north whenever possible. So we should give them an avenue, a north, a northward bound avenue. Hmm. I'll do it later. I think right now we can leave it the way it is, but uh, in general, you want to have an avenue with no, no nothing zoned along it so that people can drive really fast and in multiple lanes down to wherever they need to go to get to the nearest house. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. I think it's okay for now. So let's uh, let's go into our oilville. Now you might notice I plopped this where there's no oil. So these two uh, pump jacks are useless. So I'm going to blow them up. Now I'm going to create a service road that gets me over to some oil. I think uh, that should be fine, right? Let's create us some pump jacks right here. And then I'm going to pump jack the oil. Pump jack it. Pump jack it up. Uh, 
I don't think we're going to need additional shipping stuff. So now we got to create a place to send the oil. We're going to create a trade depot um, right across the street from our oil. Probably want it is right here. So I'm I'm not sure if I want to keep this freight for now. I'm going to blow it up. If I do get a freight depot, I'll put it closer to the to where the factories are, not right there. So let's get some crude crude oil storage. So because our our goal right here, um, oil is a limited resource, and our goal is to turn our oil into petroleum byproducts or whatever something. I don't know. I've never done it before, but we'll see. Um, we're not going to ship it. We're not going to sell it. So what we can do, we mine oil and we sell oil and everyone's happy, right? We're making money every month off of oil. And you can make a little bit of money that way, but I'm making plenty of money off of taxes. I don't need money from this. Um, so instead, I'm going to I'm gonna fill up my entire trade depot with, with oil, and I'm going to fill up two trade depots with oil. Because two is the magic number of trade depots. I don't, I don't really know how many I should do or anything. I'm just winging it here. Um, so I'm going to fill up two trade depots with oil. I'll turn off the delivery trucks for now since we're not going to be delivering it anywhere. Hi, delivery trucks. We don't need you. Alright. So... Now there are some tricks um, about uh, oil wells in general, right? First is that you don't want to put the oil well near the oil because that just wastes oil space. You want to do what I did, which is have the service road go over to the oil. Uh, second, it doesn't make sense to... I mean, your delivery trucks are going to start from right here and they're going to go towards your trade depots. And your trade depots are going to start from right here and they're going to go leave the city. So you want all this stuff at the entrance of the city. And uh, later on in the game, the entrance of the city can be anywhere you want because you can play, play, play some freight depots that, that ship stuff out by water so you can or by train, so you can put it somewhere else. But for now, we're using the highway, so we're going to put everything right by the highway. Um, uh, the funny thing is, uh, workers needed, right? You need a certain... Yes, buddy? Okay, I can't even understand what you're saying. If you don't have anything to say to me, don't don't talk to me for for a while, okay? Um, and don't <laughs> me, you little. <laughs> 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 you're funny, buddy. Um, anyway, you only need one worker. Let's look at uh, let's look at look, look at this. So right now, there's 37 people working here. There's a bunch of people working in the factory, and this is because I had unemployment. There's there's not enough employment over over down there, so there's people looking for work, and they're going to come work here, and that's fine. Um, but in general, if this city had enough workers, then only one guy would come up here and work here, and only one guy would come and work here, and only one guy would work here. Um, so you actually want your oil stuff far away from your city so that people don't work there. Because your oil depot will work exactly as well with one guy as it will with 37. <coughs> So, I mean, it's nice to provide additional jobs, but you really want people walking to work, and you don't want people living next to your oil depot. So, if you supply enough jobs down here where people can walk to them, and then you just have a couple of people driving up to the oil depot, I think that's the best That's the best solution for all I'll involved. So, now we're just going to watch um, as we gather 2,000 barrels a day and try to deliver them across the street. And I know crossing the street is complicated. I don't know if we're going to be successful in that endeavor. But, um, we'll, we'll persevere. Man, and if this fills up, I'll, I'll build an additional delivery truck. <clears throat> and then when all my oil, oil derricks are full, then I'll, I'll tell them to sell my oil. And I'll try to make millions and millions of dollars. So I need one more storage lot. And... It says I need three to unlock um, to unlock the the boats that I was talking about. Oh yeah, we don't need delivery truck. No delivering. Okay. 
Uh, and now, what do we need to unlock? Special petroleum thingy, right? Oil refinery. This one. We need a petroleum HQ and a refining division. Where's the petroleum HQ? There we go. And we need uh, 9,600 barrels a day. So this gets us 4,500. Yes, Simon, 4,500. I don't know how many oil wells we're going to need for that. But I mean, if we get two of these, we'll be getting 9,000 a day. So let's just get two. Why not? Why not? Why not? So again, build it off the oil and blow up the initial depots, barracks, pump jacks, whatever. Connect this to that road, and now all this becomes colored in. We can pump more oil right here. I would like to know exactly I'll use my fingers to measure. Right here plus eh? Right here, so like right there. I just measured with my fingers. Oops. Let's see if they fit. Yep. Good job, fingers. <coughs> probably shouldn't have done those first. Just probably go over here and say right there. Up to the edge. Now, um, I do not know... I guess there's no reason not to place the third one, right? Damn it. It doesn't fit. Looks like it should fit. I think I'm going to need like eight of these, so I should really be creating more space to, to put them in. This doesn't have any oil in it yet. Let's just blow it up. Ha 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 ha. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. Let's blow up that oil, Derek. Thing. They have things to do, so I don't have trouble thinking of things to say. But I'll get back to you on that in the future. Doesn't fit anymore. Hmm. And I don't think you. Yeah, you can't. Re you can't delete that road. We lost a little bit of room, but I'm not willing to care. I do not care enough to rezone everything just to gain that one little piece. So, our goal here is to get uh, enough to unlock the petroleum HQ and the... Um, the thing that lets me turn oil into something. I've never done it before, so I don't know what I'll be turning oil into, but it's probably going to be awesome stuff, like plastic, or like handbags, or chocolate, turn oil into chocolate. So let's make some more trade depots. Actually, I'll leave this for this space right here will be for oil. Stuff. I ran out of water, damn it. This is that depleting water table we talked about. Let's uh let's take care of water for for forever.
We'll never have to think about water again. So, <coughs> like I said, water's bugged. What you need to do for water after upgrading your town hall ridiculously is uh, this Department of Utilities and then blow up your existing water towers because we like to blow things up. Blow up a little bit of this road. Um, blow up your sewage. Boom. Sewage uh, outflow pipes create ground pollution, which over time turns into air pollution, and it kills people. And I'm totally fine with that. Whatsoever, because remember, it's all about money. Killing people just costs you a little bit of money. I don't, I don't mind. These guys, let them walk out of the way before I do anything. All right. Now I'm gonna create a sewage treatment plant. An outflow, no, sewage treatment, that would be bad to put an outflow pump right there. Alright, um, I want this one right next to his friend water thingy. It's, in the long term, like if you're planning for a really high population city, maybe we should do it that way. What you want to do this guy builds in this direction and his friend the water tower builds in the other direction. Or I'll just show you. <coughs> what you can do is place a bunch of these and then shut them off. Just to give us uh, the... so we can zone properly so we know what space it's going to take up, right? So we're just going to do six, and then we're going to shut all of them off. Except for one. This one's still turned on. Then we want our water pump to be north of it. Uh, this is going to create water in an area around it like that. So you can either put a water pump next to it here, or you can put a water pump above it or below it. Um, because it needs to be built on a road, it's kind of silly to try to put a water pump below it, so we'll put the water pump above it. Non-filtered pumps. And same as before, we're going to build all of them and then shut all of them off. And then we can just build another dude down below um, and then just shut him off there's a little kiddie pool right here this is a bug that you'll see um, he's left over and you can just delete him it's okay it's okay guys don't worry about the kiddie pool I feel a little bit dirty saying kiddie pool because you know how to catch a predator kiddie pool Alright, now shut off all the pumps again, and we'll even shut off the station here because we don't need two stations. Alright, and let's check the uh, volume of stuff. Yep, yep, both green. Looks good. Now let's re... I don't know, we don't really need to rezone a bunch of housing. I think we've got enough money to, to turn this into an oil city without worrying too much about our people anymore. Screw you people. Hope you all die. Alright. <clears throat> what am I doing? I ran out of water. Added more water. Placed a bunch of oil stuff. Trying to fill up these two depots. Trying to unlock this. 96 barrels a day. I think I have enough for 96 barrels a day already. And then... Trade. I need to have three things. Put this one closer to the oil because the, you can't fit more wells here. Blow up the freight and add a bunch of oil stuff. And 
turn off his car because he's not delivering anywhere. Save myself fifty bucks totally like being being silly about that. Alright. Oh, you know what? It means three different types of things, not three different actual depots. So for now we just have oil. If we added a recycling center we could get all three and then we would be fine. So let's do that. Let's recycle. Oh, we gotta educate people to recycle. Maybe. I think this one probably needs another truck too. What are you doing, stupid? Ah. We ran out of water so we stopped working. This is not full so I do not need another truck. This is not full. This is not full. This is not full. Alright. Um, let's work on some housing while we wait for our oil to fill up. Um, not housing, some education. Let's educate some folk. Educate some peoples. So basically everyone in my city lives on these two, three little blocks. So they can all get re here really easily. <clears throat> I need 1,400 classrooms. In the future I'll use high schools for it, but... Uh, remember, education is all about generating happiness and money and stuff. Um, so getting the uh, the town hall add-on that you, the Department of Education just to get a high school and then getting a high school that would just cost too much money. <coughs> high schools save space. They save space, but they cost money per hour. And saving space, like the the s space you save by making a high school, you can fill with houses which pay you taxes so it it pays to get a high school because you're freeing up enough space to get another skyscraper that pays you much more ta um, taxes but if you're not doing a residential city then saving space isn't going to do anything saving space isn't going to earn me anything so why would I make a high school I'm not going to make a high school I'm not going to do it I can do it I can do it bro um I think yeah Probably shouldn't have chosen that. Mm. You want your school buses to stay on the same side of the road and go in a straight line through your whole city. But, uh... Like, when you, th when you zone the way I did, you don't get to choose which road people connect to. So as you can see, like, the these houses are connected to this road over here. They're not connected to that road. Um, and these houses are connected to that road. So m I want the school buses placed like this, but I want the people... <clears throat> I want the people... I want the people to live on the road that I put the school buses on, you know? So now that everything is upping in density, we can dezone this whole area, blow everyone up, and rezone it so that they they're where the school buses are. I want everyone on this road so that they can have the school bus here. I want everyone on this road. <coughs> Actually, I should probably put them on this road. So this is the road people are going to... This is where I'm going to put the avenue if I ever need it. People drive to work on this road. I don't want school buses there. So let's not put school buses there. Oh, school buses. Oh, school buses. And I'm I'm so used to paying so much attention to to thinking about how traffic is going to flow because I've made a lot of really high population cities that I'm probably overthinking this like this is going to be a low population city I don't really need to care about this stuff but I don't know I've just built up the habit why why waste it All right so let's get a bunch of people who control you for unzone rezone over on this side. Control U for unzone, control R for residential, rezone on this side. Bing bong! Bing bong! Same thing, control U, control R, 
splish splash, I was taking a bath, oh no no. Something about a Saturday night, I don't know that song. Ta-da! Alright. So I think I put the other school bus here. So, um, <clears throat> you can see right now I'm not bulldozing the houses, I'm just, uh, uh, rezoning them on the place that I want them to show up. This doesn't work. New houses will form where I zoned residential, but these houses will never go away. And I'm okay with that. I'm just thinking, like, long term, I want houses on this side, but I don't care if it never actually happens. And I'm going to zone a bunch more houses over here. And I need more commercial, a lot more commercial. In general, I want people walking to work and walking to their commercial places, but, uh, I can't help it, man. I did the wrong ratio. I did 3 to 2, thinking that eventually I'd all get high density, and I didn't get high density. Anyway. So, now school buses. I'm, I'm going to have to place additional school bus stops because people live on the wrong sides of the roads. I don't know. Screw it. They'll just be uneducated. That's what they get. That's what they get for building on the wrong side of the road. They, they must have been uneducated to build there in the first place. Anyway. After we get education, we can get um, recycling, which will allow us to unlock the better trade depot thing, which is funny because I'm not probably even going to build the better trade depot thing, at least for not for a long time. So what I'm really worried about right now, okay, this guy's full, that's not good. This guy's almost full, that's not good, this guy's... <coughs> Alright, need more delivery trucks for this guy. This guy clearly needs more delivery trucks as well. It seems like some of the... Well, this one's generating 9,400 by himself, and these two are not. I guess... Uh, it, they'd probably just have to run for a full day before they can be full efficiency. What's this? Whoa, it's like a flying plane thing. It's a helicopter. So as we guessed, uh, once people start wanting to drive to work up here, there's going to be a lot of traffic, and that's that's what's happening. Um, I'm thinking I can deal with this by zoning some houses in amongst my oil place. And then zoning more commercial down south. I don't know if this is really a problem, though. Let's wait until 5 a.m. and see, see how people are doing. And a lot of this is just because I blew up so many buildings at once and a bunch of moving trucks came in and caused traffic. And all the moving trucks leave, and then there's not so much traffic. These are just commuters, people driving to work. So I want these guys zoned on the outside. Then I want commercial zones on the outside for them to work, work at and shop at. Why do I have a water tower right there? I don't need that. Control C for commercial. Hold down control to zone the whole area. Um, now I've got commercial with no residential on it. That seems wrong. And now I got double residential over here. I totally did that all wrong. Alright. Let's fix this. Um, I want commercial along the right side of this road, and I want residential along the left side of this road. Let's blow up the cross streets for now to make it easier to zone. Okay. Run my roads a little further down. Hold shift to make sure that it's straight. I don't want curvy lines here. Alright, we want residential here for sure, which means that we need commercial here. <coughs> and blow up this stuff. Look at that. Now, this road.
We want commercial on this side. And residential on the opposite side. When you bulldoze roads, um, it's weird. Things get rezoned, so every time you bulldoze a, loan, bulldoze a road, hit control U to bring up the unzone thing and make sure that you get rid of any leftover artifacts or else crazy things can happen. So that's a stripe. Um, that's a stripe. This road is useless now. Which actually means that we can move this road over. See, once you get to medium density, it becomes very different. When you have dirt roads, low density stuff, uh, you end up with two little tiny houses on each side of a road, but when you end up with this medium density stuff, you just get houses that span the whole thing. So I'm going to bring up the guide road right here and right here. And then I'm going to move over a about the size of a road in this direction. Hold shift so that it goes straight up north and go to there. It should eyeball about the right size um, so that I can have two back-to-back -back zones, right? And then I'm going to blow up. This is probably a bad idea. Because if I blow up all my houses, my population is going to drop and then the density is not going to re-increase. But whatever. I don't want to blow up the water pumping station. Maybe we'll leave the left side of the city alone for now. Let's do one little part at a time because... Uh, Simon, please don't make that noise, my, my little dude. Alright. So we got commercial there. We want commercial here. And residential on the opposite side of the road. Control U. Get rid of these weird little leftover artifacts. <coughs> and unzone this. So we want residential on this side of the, this road. And then we'll just leave everything else alone. We'll blow up both of these roads in the future. You know what? I'm going to do it now. It's just driving me crazy. Just got to do it, man. So yeah, we've got residential over here. And I said I wanted an avenue, right? So let's just make an let's make a north south avenue now. I said I wanted one, I got plenty of money. Let's do it to it. We'll do it up. Do it up. Do it up. So we bring up this guide. It says that uh if we want an avenue we gotta put it one to the left of this area, right? So I'm gonna go right here. Again we're just eyeballing it. And that should leave enough room. And we can check whether it does leave enough room using the, uh, this. And yes, it looks like it's good. Uh, Shift R, Avenue. Avenuvius Vesuvius. Oh, by connecting this to that road, it's no longer straight. But avenues are expensive and I'm not remaking it. Sucks to be you, Avenue. Plus, again, this is going to be a small city. I don't need to leave a bunch of space. Oh, but then this is going to screw up the ability for those. Damn it. For, for those buildings to grow to high density, right? Avenuvius Vesuvius needs to be in a straight line. Yes. Replace it in multiple segments so that traffic can be properly measured and so that we don't end up screwing the pooch. The pooch is what we do not want to screw. Alright, Avenuvius Vesuvius. Um, <clears throat> we'll just blow... Do we need to... No. We'll leave the outer... The outer wrong thing. This is no longer going to be used, but we don't need to blow it up. We'll just leave it alone. And let's just zone in here with some have some peoples. Ooh, some people gonna die. Ooh, some. Ooh, some people. All right. So now we have nobody living in our city because we blew them all up. Let's fast forward a little while so they all come back. 
Um, and we're going to also want to create some cross streets. Let's create some cross streets. Now normally I would measure where these cross streets belong, but for now I'm just going to plop them randomly. <coughs> Ooh, so cross streets going to die. So our 20,000 bucks an hour has gone away because we totally bulldozed our whole city. Looks like our oil is full. So let's turn everything to do with oil off. Because we've got all the oil we need. And we'll work out oil later. For now let's rezone our, our peoples because we don't want Usa them to die. I'm rezoning my peoples, rezoning my peoples, and we want this to go fast, so I'm going to drop tax rate pretty low. Um, that's a little too low, I think. I'm losing money. Uh... That <laughs> should be good, good enough. So see, people are zoning medium density crap. Once everyone's zoned in, I'll raise my tax rate back up to 12. But for now, we want them to, to re-arrive in the city. Traffic's still looking good. Ooh, so traffic's still looking good. I didn't blow up any of my services, so... Even though my police service was just complaining that police needed, I'm ignoring it. I don't want this. I don't want higher res wealth people in my city. It's just a waste. Come on, fast forward. All this because I wanted a recycling plant, you guys. Come on. It's ridiculous. Well, I can't think of anything to talk about while these people grow, so why don't I um, end today's thing and we'll pick up once everyone...